Have you ever considered moving to the suburbs of Greater Boston, Massachusetts? Well, if so, then you want to stay tuned because that is exactly what I'm about to talk about on this video. My name is Heather and I'm a realtor here in the state of Massachusetts. I work for Real Living Suburban Lifestyle Real Estate and today I'm going to talk to you about living in the town of Mansfield, Massachusetts. So Mansfield, Massachusetts is located in Bristol County and it has a population of a little over 25,000 people. Mansfield has a dense suburban feel to it and the home prices here typically go for around 500 to 550,000 although you'll always have homes that go for way above and sometimes homes that go lower but that's typically the range that you can expect in Mansfield. The commute into Boston is about 40 to 45 minutes but that's totally dependent on traffic. Sometimes commuting into the city can be a bit much. You could certainly be stuck in traffic for much, much longer than that, which is where the commuter rail comes into play here. If you were to take the commuter rail into the city, there is a, there's Mansfield station right in Mansfield. So you could just go and park and take the train in and probably be in the city about the, around the same time of 40 to 45 minutes um, without having to, of course, sit in, sit in the traffic that any city is known to have. The public school systems in Mansfield are highly rated. They've got one preschool and then they have two elementary schools with one middle school and one high school. And the town of Mansfield borders Foxborough, Plainville, Easton, Norton, Sharon, Attleboro, and North Attleboro. As far as Mansfield attractions go, um, the Xfinity Center in Mansfield is probably the most popular. It is an outdoor music venue. Um, they have concerts throughout the year. They've got a lawn section and then an outdoor section that has a covered dome on top of it. So definitely a great place to go catch a concert. Um, and then they also have uh, Mansfield Crossing, which is a newer area. It's a shopping center, but they also have restaurants there. And then there's also the uh, Mansfield Country Store, the, the old country store, which um, my mom actually used to go to when she was a kid. So uh, that definitely has a lot of history to it. And it's, it's awesome that it's still around. And then there's also Flint Farm, which offers ice cream. It has fresh veggies. It has a corn maze in the fall and just like a lot of really fun fall activities, um, especially for the kiddos in that, you know, time of year of fall. So lots of fun stuff that you can do in Mansfield, lots of really great attractions to visit. Mansfield also has their own airport, um, which leads me to one of my favorite restaurants, which is in the airport, which is Hangar 12, and they offer breakfast and lunch. You can watch the planes take off right from where you're sitting. They have outdoor seating and indoor seating. Some of my other favorite restaurants, I guess, we'll dive right into restaurants. Uh, the Trattoria Romana is new to Mansfield as of last year and their pizza is unbelievable. They have a couple of other locations uh, throughout Rhode Island and Massachusetts, um, so different chains of the restaurant, but it's a really, really great spot. Um, other great pizza places are New York Pizza, if you like Italian style pizza, um, if you like Greek style pizza, Cousins is really, really good. Cibo Motto also has great Italian food. Uh, Flynn's Irish Pub is a really fun spot to check out. Uh, they have trivia every Wednesday nights, which is fun. Um, and yeah, so those are, I guess, my top picks for Mansfield restaurants, but you really could go on and on because it just has a lot to, there's just a lot of really great spots to go. And if you happen to be a resident of Mansfield, I would love so much if you would comment below and let us know what your favorite parts of living in Mansfield are, whether it's your favorite spot to grab a bite to eat or what do you, just what are your favorite things about living in the town. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. And again, just be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you are notified of the next video that I post. And thanks so much for watching.